Welcome to this new Udo tutorial. Today we are going to show how to set up an LVDS display on Udo. This procedure has to be made only one time for your operating system. You will have to repeat it only in case you change it. To configure Udo, you'll need the latest U-boot and kernel and an external PC connected to Udo via a serial USB cable. You can check our previous tutorial to understand how to do it. And once you have everything set up and running, we are ready to go. So, let's start. Let's see how to set up this 7 inches display. It has a single connector. Just plug into the LVDS connector. Then, set up uh, you do as you would normally do. Then, connect the serial USB cable to you do. and turn it on by plugging the power supply. From your computer, hit a key before normal boot starts up and type the right parameters for your operating system and LVDS panel. Here, since we are using Android and 7 inches LVDS, we are typing the string. Once you've typed the right string, let's save it with the command saveEnv. Doing so will set the LVDS as a primary display and you won't be required to repeat this procedure again. To resume normal boot, just type boot. You can now detach the USB serial cable and enjoy your LVDS panel in all its greatness. We just repeat the same steps with the bigger 15 inches panel. This time we have two connectors, the LVDS, to be connected as before, and the touch connector, which we are plugging into the auxiliary USB port. As before, we plug the USB serial cable and we put U2 up. Since we are using a different panel and you do Ubuntu, our configuration string will be different. Again, we just save the settings with the command saveEnv and we resume normal boot with the command boot. We can now forget about USB serial cable and enjoy Ubuntu with touch controls. So, this was it. You can find all the different configuration strings in the article and customize virtually every distribution you need with instruction provider on our wiki. Bye!